Now at 11, transparency with seeing what body cameras capture. Our investigates team is taking a deeper look at why you aren't always able to see that video and who is. Little rain still on the way, but not as much as we saw today. What you'll see tomorrow in your certified most accurate forecast. And with today's downpours, flooding, the rising frustrations with the rising waters. We are celebrating those making a difference in our community. Why a Myrtle Beach police sergeant says this is his dream job. Live, local, now. This is WMBF News at 11. Good evening to you. Thanks for joining us a little later tonight. I'm Eric Weisfeld. Inches of rain and windswept umbrellas. This is what it looked like earlier along the beach, but the rain we saw today is out of our area now. Meteorologist Jessica Dobson takes a look at where we saw the most rainfall today. Good evening. Yeah, that's right, Eric. We saw an upwards of five or more inches of rainfall today across some areas. A lot, a lot more than what we really needed over a short period of time, which led to a lot of that flooding across the area. Almost seven inches of rainfall across places like Longs. Grand Dunes, you picked up about four and uh, over four and a half. Four and a half for places like Cherry Grove, roughly speaking, just over four for North Myrtle. Across Garden City, closer to the South Strand, just over three inches there. So all in all, we saw a very wet forecast today. And as we take you through tomorrow, we're going to be looking at a lot of improvements, fewer rain chances. A lot of the heaviest of the rain has worked on out of here over into North Carolina towards Wilmington. I'll talk more what we can expect through the rest of this week. We're not quite all said and done with the rain just yet. I'll break it all down for you in just a couple of minutes.